Hi everyone, it's Tori from Goody Beads, and I am here with our friend Candy Cooper. Hey you guys, hey Tori. Hi Candy, how are you today? It's great to be here. I'm glad you're here because today we're gonna play with the Sizzix Big Shot and you're gonna teach me two new techniques because I've been loving playing with the Big Shot and doing leather. We've done a lot with the movers yes, and shapers. absolutely. And now today we're gonna play with the framelits and the embossing folders, which I'm super excited about because I haven't done it before. Yeah. So, Show me how it goes, Candy. And I know this tool is a little bit of an investment, so yes. the more things you can do with it, absolutely, it just, it just makes you feel good. Yep. So we're gonna today we're gonna make these earring cards. Um, whether you're selling your jewelry or giving uh, your jewelry Gifts. as a gift yep. or whatever, I think you'll like this little technique. And you've got a great little selection of these framelits. Yes. Essentially, it, these come in all different shapes. Sorry, I just me messed up the step. <laughs> Essentially, That's all right. we're what, gonna use them. <laughs> what these are are just the tiniest of blades yep very precise so you can cut cardstock yes um, you don't want to use these to cut thick leather though no. you can cut th like thin fabrics lamb skin mm -hmm. leather whatever but um, these are uh, I mean you don't want to yeah. cut something that's more thick no. than the blade absolutely it makes okay. sense okay so let's just jump into it all right all right so I'm gonna go ahead and I've got some cardstock you could cut thinner paper but you know to support the weight of the jewelry you want to I think it's a nice cardstock yeah. yeah the cardstock okay makes sense and then the best thing about the Sizzix tool is the instructions are right on the platform that's so nice so with the framelits yep. thinlets um, you want to use start with your uh, pink colored shuttle then we're going to add this um, extended thin die adapter right on top then we need a cutting pad and you want to put the framelit on so that the foam side is face up foam up gotcha and then you put your piece of cardstock on and then another cutting another pad. Another cutting board, gotcha. Mm -hmm. These cutting pads are good for 10,000 cuts. So gotcha. they're gonna start, we've been using these up here. Yeah. We used them um, all weekend. Absolutely. They're gonna start to look like a little bit like they've been run over by a car and that's yeah. normal. And you guys may have heard a little crack and the first time Candy did this, I think I went, oh! but it's okay, that's gonna happen. That's normal. <laughs> that is normal, yep. So now, Look at this. let's get, it's so perfect, right? Yeah, perfect little. And you could put it just on there, a little yep. rubber stamp with your logo. Perfect. It'd be great. But we're gonna go ahead and flip over to these 3D embossing folders so we can yes. actually texture some paper. So Very cool. amp it up a little bit. All you're gonna do is grab maybe something a little bit more plain. You could so do. like a basic kind of craft paper mm -hmm. or a simpler design. Yeah, even or just cardstock, white cardstock. Oh, yeah. Um, and then we're gonna flip to the only the pink colored shuttle, and you can see here's the embossing folders. The only thing is, is 3D embossing folders were not born before this shuttle was printed. So you it says like traditionally you would use two cutting pads. This time we only need one, one because this is pad. thicker than gotcha. the traditional paper okay, embossers. That makes sense. And the reason for that is you're getting a deeper emboss uh, effect yes. than the original embossers. Well, that's nice. And you can also do really thin copper. Oh, really? Yeah, copper foil. Oh, yes, we have copper foil. That's right. Yep. Yeah, so you can put that through that. And like if Very you're into cool. enameling mm -hmm. or whatever, then cut it with the movers and shapers. Yep. We'll do that on another video. Another time. <laughs> So then I've got this really beautiful That's so amazing. textured paper. Now it's ready to go back to our second piece and we'll go ahead and just cut that shape. So you're just making your sandwich again. I'm just making my sandwich again. And then I'm gonna put one more cutting pad. Look, Tori, I've been here all of one minute and 30 seconds and I've already trashed this place. Got a lot of stuff <laughs> going don't, around. We don't mind. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And so now I've got a perfect piece because of these concentric shapes. Yeah. Looks really nice together. Absolutely. Um, you know, the best thing about the Sizzix is you get perfection ev with every cut. Yeah. You know, versus if you were trying to do this with scissors, come on, mm -hmm. it would look like a child did it. Okay, so now we're gonna um, go ahead and punch a couple holes where our earrings would sit or uh, if you wanna put a pin on it or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I like to just punch through the top layer because then the ear wires will just sit in the back and then the back is still clean. Yep. You know? And then, could you hand me some gold ribbon? I sure will. Do you want me to cut it? Um, I don't care. Maybe. We'll go ahead and put the pretty side face down. Yeah, give me a little piece there. Perfect, thank you. Yep. And then center everything up and we're just gonna give it a little staple right in the middle. You wouldn't think staple. You could also hot glue this stuff together. 
Um, go ahead and center it up. Staple. And then we're going to tie a little how simple easy. knot. So easy. And yep. depending on how you're displaying your jewelry, you could make a loop, little hang tag. Yeah, whatever you could you cut want. a larger loop at the top to hang it for sure. Yeah. And then if you look at the finished ones, you can see I've inked the edges. Mm -hmm. Like I said, if you have your uh, stamp, your logo made into a rubber stamp, or even just plain rubber stamps, you could stamp them to mm -hmm. add a little bit more of your brand or your vibe to them. But how, I mean, yeah. Literally, great. you can just cut a bunch of tags and then just start putting them together. How easy and what a great way to display your jewelry. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Candy. That was awesome. Thanks, everyone. Join us again next time.